Okay guys, so what this test here is, is a test to see if this 12,000 watt power jack low frequency inverter will start my window air conditioner. Now, this is a good test because the window air conditioner is an older window air conditioner. It's a frigid air, I wanna say it's 8,000 BTUs, but I know this thing draws somewhere around 30 amps at 120 volts. A startup so it's got a huge inrush now i will say my honda eu 2000 can start this and i will also say i have a xantrax 1800 right here that's a 24 volt inverter and that will start it the xantrax has no problem starting this uh, air conditioner up and what we're going to do here is i have the fluke set up to capture the inrush, we're gonna first go into house current just to capture what the inrush is so you can see it. And then we'll set it up on the power jack. Now the power jack is connected directly to a 3000 watt 48 volt DC generator. So it's gonna be supplying the power to the inverter and we shall see if that will start it. So first let's go ahead and start it on the house power and let's take a look and see what the inrush is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on and then turn the temperature down all the way. And then when that kicks on, we should be able to record the inrush. So I'm gonna actually put the camera at the inrush and let's turn on the AC. So right now the fan's on low and it's on 75, so I'm gonna go ahead and just crank this down. Today's about 66, so that's about as low as the air conditioner will go to get it to turn on. So when I turn all the way down, it should kick the compressor on. 68, 67, 66. So it's down all the way. Now, I do have a hair dryer here just so we can trick the temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and what we're going to do is just blow warm air into here to get that thermostat to go up so the air conditioner will come on. So I'm just going to turn this on and I'm going to aim it here and then point up here. Okay, so you can see right there, it's actually higher than what I thought before. So it's 54, almost 55 amps of inrush, which is just an insane amount, but that's how some of these old air conditioners are. So um, 55 volts, I'm sorry, 55 amps times 120 volts, it's probably over 5,000 watts of startup. So the question is, is these power jacks we know are not rated for what their numbers say. So to be very frank here, this is probably like a max 6,000 watt inverter. And then that would be max 3,000 watts from each L1 and L2. So one of the reasons I bought this was because they claim, you know, if you looked in the advertisement on these on eBay or whatever, is the fact that they claim that these things will start, you know, devices with heavy motors, like pumps, air conditioners, things of that nature. And we're gonna see if this thing can actually provide the surge current that of 54 amps that is needed to start that. Like I said, in previous tests, the Xantrex did it and my EU2000 also started that particular window air conditioner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug this and set everything up here and we'll see if it can do it. Okay, so generator's on. I'm gonna turn the inverter on. The inverter's on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna turn this on. And then what we're gonna do next is dial that down. Not yet, dial that down to 66. And hold on. And then what we're gonna do is come over here and watch the lights, an alarm, and the generator. Okay, go ahead and dial it down. Okay, now it's on 66. We 
because it's only 66 outside, we're going to run the hair dryer on the temperature. Go ahead and do that. And then in a second, it should come on. I'll try to. Move it further side to side. reset the power jack. of an inrush current for this particular unit to start up. So got the alarm light on solid now and I'm gonna just say that this 12,000 which is probably really a 6,000 and then the max is probably 3,000 on each lake one and lake two. So it failed the window test. Okay so all over everything here. So what we're going to do is um, I reset it, so we're going to turn this back on. Okay, and what we're going to do now is I have the power cord going over here for now on. Plug in here. And we're going to try to start this one. I'm hoping it starts this one because it's a newer air conditioner. Okay. Now it's only on fan only, so let's change the mode. Let's turn it down. Yeah, I believe this one here takes, I'm trying to remember from some of my prior videos, but I think it takes like up to three minutes before the compressor kicks on. Okay, well, in my earlier test with the easier to start air conditioner, it actually wasn't starting it either. I didn't realize it uh, because I didn't have anything really hooked up to see how many watts it was drawing. Thought it was cool air, but it was just air. So what I decided to do to give it a fair test was just hook it up to my uh, 52 volt battery pack. So this is a Nissan Leaf 14 cell, holds about 3,500 watts. And right now it's sitting about 
55 volts, 56 volts. And so I hooked this up directly to the battery, took the DC generator out of the equation just to see if we have any better luck starting this. So um, I have it hooked up. I'm gonna turn this on and you're gonna see the light, the green light comes on. You're gonna see, um, we're sitting at 40 watts, 108 watts. So that's basically the fan running on the air conditioner. Now, like I said, it will take, it will take about two to three minutes for the air conditioner compressor to come on. Nope. Saw the alarm light flash and then the gener it just resets. So, I almost have to laugh at the advertisement of this thing and how it's designed, the low frequency inverter is designed to start uh, motors. So again, this was a newer air conditioner. Uh, I'm hooked up to about a 3,500 watt battery bank at 55 volts and it couldn't start that. So it amazes me how an 1800 watt Xantrax high-frequency inverter started even the, the dinosaur air conditioner up. And this one here that's made low frequency <laughs> uh, was unable to start that. So I don't know if there's, um, you know, protection circuits designed inside here to deal with, you know, motors and things that would have a high inrush current, or maybe, maybe it's a software limiting feature that's causing this thing not to start. I'm not sure. Maybe they would start something like that, but I don't even think I'm gonna ho try hooking this up to my house um, for the fact that it couldn't even start a, a newer window air conditioner up. All right, well, that concludes the test. All right, guys, as I thought about this a little more, I figured I'd give this one last try, and that is setting it up for 120 volt only, 6,000 watts. So I went back to this original configuration where one goes to three and two goes to four. So in effect, the coils um, are um, in parallel instead of in series. So perhaps this would give me more starting amps or sur incoming surge amps that this thing will be able to work and start. So um, I forgot to give this one last test. I'm gonna just go ahead and try to connect it up to the generator. I'm not gonna try the battery. Uh, it's just too much connecting and disconnecting. I think the generator will actually be able to supply what it needs. So um, let's give it a shot. Easier air conditioner to start, not the hard. 